Have y'all ever sat back, sat back and thought about why do you make the decisions that you make today? Like today was my day of really sitting back thinking about that shit. Welcome to my page. And if you come to my page, I do cuss a little bit. And uh, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but I do, okay? I keep it real. And I do speak my truth and I will. But I was sitting back thinking, and I hope y'all enjoy it. But I was sitting back thinking literally. And I'm like, why do, when it comes to certain situations, why do I make the decisions that I make? Like when it comes to people hurting me, why do I make these decisions? See, I grew up in a household where I've never seen my mama get her ass beat. My, 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 my mother has never went through domestic violence. My aunt has never went through domestic violence. My grandmother has never been through domestic violence, okay? Where I was raised at. Never went through domestic violence. Ne I've never seen a man disrespect my mother or my grandmother. Never seen it. I remember an episode when I was three years old and something happened with my grandmother. That was taken care of immediately by my uncle. But other than that, I've never... I've never seen it. I've never grew up with it, right? I went through some things, you know, when I was little, but we ultimately, my childhood was not bad. Like I had a grandmother, we all lived there. You know, my mother went through things, you know, but that's just what she went through. But as a child, we didn't grow up around drinking, smoking. I didn't grow up, um, We we they partied and we had fun, but it was kids having fun with kids, not kids having fun with adults, right? Um, so yeah, that's how I was raised. And then when I turned 15, you know, I, I got pregnant, right? I got pregnant at 15 and then I ended up moving in with my oldest son's father and mother. And then I, I sit back and as I'm sitting here today, I'm like, why do I go through, you know, not go through, but why do I make the decision that I make? Or why have I made the decisions looking back on my life? Because my family didn't do certain things like in my family we wasn't my mother and them never when i was little we probably was called names but as i got older like my mother didn't call us just in holes and cuss us out and yell you know she she didn't she didn't do that like she didn't do that not with when i was little 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 okay so i'm sitting back thinking and i'm like with all the fights and you know everybody fighting each other i'm like I never saw that, right? So I'm thinking back, why do I make the decisions that I make and keep dealing with the same people? Because that's what I saw from 15 on up. I saw that from 15 on up. You you can cuss a person out, but then be cool with them again. Like as if somebody owes some type of allegiance or loyalty towards a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how it was. And I've seen arguments with men and I've seen abuse with men in the house. You know, I've seen these things. And it was just like, it, it, I didn't see it in my household, but I seen it in a household, you know? And I'm just like, this is why I, ex I'm acceptive the way that I'm acceptive because that shit is not normal and it's not cute, okay? But my thing was, as I'm sitting back thinking, and I'm like, a person can judge a person and going through the very same thing that you've gone through or that you've been through. Like, CPS was called on me in 2017. And the person that called CPS, they were the people that was, they was the ones that was living with their abuser. It was just all fucking crazy to me. But then turn around and say sorry to me as if we supposed to have this grand old relationship and I found myself keep going back and forth like okay I forgive and even throughout the years of before the kids that I have now before the second marriage it was I forgive you can hurt me and I'm, I forgive and today I just sat back and I'm like why do I do that because that's what I've been around that's what I that's what I adapted to I adapted my subconscious knew saw that shit and consciously I adapted to it. So that's why I go back and forth. I went back and forth with my first husband like three, four times. I forgive you. I forgive you. I mean, was he was engaged to a whole woman while married, before the pregnancy. 
you know, tried to commit suicide, you know, and I got off the mental institution and the woman had my phone number, called me and told me I should have killed myself and he had nothing to say. And I still was like, I love you. <laughs> Stupid girl. Stupid girl. Like, dumb. I mean, was in a mental institution with me at therapy. I don't want to be with you. I'm like, but I love you. <laughs> I sit back and I think about all of these things. And when I think back, I'm like, people don't even know. People don't even know. <laughs> they think, oh, she go back to her abuser or she keep being around her kid's father. Well, I was around his daddy too. <laughs> and his daddy wasn't no good either. He didn't uh, physically fight me, but that mental, that emotional, bitch, I was drained. <laughs> I went through some shit <laughs> with both of my husbands. I went through the mental, physical, emotional with the second husband. And I went through the emotional and the mental with the first husband. Ain't no greater one than the other. They both is fucked up. There is no one better than the other. And I used to put one on a pedestal like, oh, yeah, my first husband is amazing. He's amazing. And all along, these motherfuckers sit back talking about me like I'm just a murderer. <laughs> when they the ones that did it to me. As well, on top of I did it to myself. But they the ones that did They start. I just can't believe this. I mean, and got so much to say about little old me. Little on me. That narcissistic shit is real. It's real. And I sat back today and I'm sitting here thinking about it. Like I've been going through this since I was 15. They hating, forgiving, hating, forgiving, calling each other out your names, forgiving, forgiving, forgiving. And I'm steady forgiving. You could do anything to me and I forgive you. And I'm at a point in my life, there is no forgiveness. I forgive you, but I really don't want to fuck with you. That's where I'm at right now with it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with people. I love being where I'm at by myself. I love it. It feels good. And the new people that's, that's here, they for me. A person will never hurt you if they love you because love doesn't hurt. And I'll, my mother didn't raise me that way, but I learned that in that household, that love does hurt. No, the fuck it does not, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> Love don't hurt. And I said that I had to sit back years later and wonder why is my heart the way it is? Why do I keep forgiving? And they want to call me naive and they the ones that I saw it through them. <laughs> I mean, it was so crazy because even with the CPS situation, it was just like, y'all know I just lost two kids. Y'all know I'm going through shit and this is what you do? This is how this go? Like, this is not cool. Never will I ever go through that again. Never. I would, this, never will I ever. That's just it, never will I ever. And I don't talk to those people to this day. I, at this point, I don't even wanna talk to them. They don't have to talk to me. They could be, if something was to happen to them, don't call me. That's how I am with it. That's where I'm at with it. I, I don't, oh well, they'll be okay. And if they're not okay, oh well. That's where I'm at with it. Because it's sad that people act the way that they act and they can't face their own mirror. It's sad that people try to turn people kids against them at the age of 14 and 15. I've been through it. I've been through it. It happened to me. People try to turn me against my own mama telling me that my mama was a crackhead. My mama ain't never did a fucking drug in her day in her life. All because y'all was some narcissist. At the end of the day, I've never seen nobody talk about a person's parent to a child like I did in that family. Never seen it. And it got done to me as well, but I've never seen it. In my family, we don't do shit like that. Like my mother, my aunts, they would never talk about me to their nieces and nephews, never. And tell them, they would never bash anything into their head about their nieces and nephews that that'll never happen they wouldn't even give them time of day to speak about anything negative it's go talk to your parent 
Like, it's just so much going on and so much that I'm thinking about. And it's just like, why am I like this? Why do I forgive? I Why? I forgive, but why do I keep dealing with the same people? Because that's not love. That's not me loving myself. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. It ain't me loving myself. If I deal with a person that didn't hurt me, I, I, I it's something about me that I don't love. And I'm at a point in my life where it's time to figure that shit out. And I figured it out. I figured it out. Because I've subconsciously embedded it in my childhood. From 15 on up. Subconsciously. If my mother apologized to me, she never did it again. Never did it again. But when people apologize to me, they just feel like they have the opportunity to continuously do it again and over and over. Because I allow them to. And my ex-husband wasn't, my second ex-husband wasn't the first person that I allowed to hurt my feelings. They all have hurt me. All of them, every single last one of them. All three men that I've known in my life, that I've been with in my life far as marriage and kid-wise, has hurt my feelings. Has hurt me mentally, physically, emotionally. Every single last one of them. Every single last one of them. No one is greater than the other. One might not have a job or one might be a hustler and the other one might be have a career, quote unquote. But at the end of the day, no one was better than the other. That's the realization that I just came to. No one was better than there was no hurt greater than the other hurt. And that's what I was doing. I was sitting here trying to you hurt me more. You hurt me more. They all fucking hurt you. <laughs> they all did. Like, I don't know if this is the universe coming down from the heavens, the heavens, trying to talk to me. But they all have hurt me. And there is no antidote for the amount. No, there is no antidote. There is no antidote of what can be given to me. Like, there's no amount of medication that can help me. That's what that means. There, you're absolutely correct. They're absolutely correct. There is no antidote for the shit that I've been through from 15 on up. There is none. You couldn't give me no type of nothing for this trauma and drama that I have faced out of the 21 years of my fucking life. There is none. There is none. I've seen a lot, been through a lot for no reason. At 15, why is you getting talked about at 15? Why, why, why does an adult have your name in their mouth at 15 and you're 15? You're supposed to be trying to show them the way, not talk about them while showing them the way. Show them the way. That's, that's how it goes. And I had a realization that last year that I'm sitting here fighting for a family that ain't even my family just because I grew up around them. I'm literally fighting with my second husband for a family that's not my family. And that has shown me multiple times they're not my family. Multiple times. Yeah, that's some, that says a lot about me. Like, I'm stupid as hell. Yeah, you, they right. I am naive. I'm dumb as fuck. Called CPS on me. All types of shit. For no reason. My mother, my family would have never done nothing like that. They never would have never, never. If anything, they should have had CPS called on them. There's a lot of shit going on that has went on. A lot. Kids should have been took a long time ago. It's just a lot. And, and, and when I think about it all, it's just like they didn't play me. I played myself and I ain't even mad. That's why I ain't mad at none of my baby daddies. That's why, and I never be mad at my second husband. Why would I be mad? Why would I stay mad? Why would I? Why would I? Why can't I, why, why is it that I can forgive everybody else but can't forgive him? Cause he put his hands on me. They ain't no better than him and he ain't no better than them. <laughs> ain't nobody better than nobody. Because they all fucked with me here. Every single last one of them people that has been in my life has fucked with me here. And what everybody mad at is that I'm still standing. That's what they mad about. 
they wanted me to commit suicide again they wanted me to take medication they wanted me to be down on my luck they wanted that <laughs> ah! for what because <laughs> they don't feel good about themselves they can't face their mirror they don't like to talk about they shit they just want to be in the quiet and talk about your shit <laughs> it don't get no greater than this I feel good today, but I had sat back and I thought about it like, why am I the way that I am? Well, now I found my reason why. I know why. And I, and I, it had to, I had to get mad to realize this. I had to get mad, talk to myself, and then calm down like 20 times before I figured it out. I've been going through this. This ain't nothing new. I got my hands put on me at 17 years old from an older woman for no reason. It was literally no reason. I was just trying to go see my mama. I got abused then. I've been going through this mentally. I've been going through this physically. This ain't nothing new. This is nothing new to me. Y'all got to face y'all selves. Y'all got to face y'all mirror. Y'all got to face y'all demons. Because I face mine on a goddamn daily basis. And ain't none of you bitches on my level. None of you. No, none of y'all, not none of the daddies, all the daddies, all the daddies, they all going through something mentally. They all messed up. They all liars. They all place the blame on another person. They all do it. All three of them. All of them. One has money. The other ones is hustlers. They all do it. All of them. They all think they better than the next person. And they all ain't shit. I sat back and gave praise to a, a man. And he was dogging me behind my back trying to take my kid away from me. When we could have just sat down and had a whole conversation. Make it make sense. They can't make it make sense. Because how you going to make it make sense when you can't face your own mirror? I face my mirror. Daily. With that being said. I'll see y'all later.